What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here to the first official episode of the UNC Asheville Bobcats. So we're going to show you the teams, we're going to show you who we red shirt, going to show you everything so far that is on the thing. So right now, this is our schedule as of now. Uh, I'm going to, this video is going to go up before the first game. I kind of want to keep North Carolina on here. You guys put in the comments down below who you want to see us play. I also want to play UMass. But the rest of the schedule is a, is basically you guys can pick who we play. Um, I do want to play Carolina and UMass. I can't change anything after that. That's why this episode is not going to have any gameplay in it. It's just going to show you the roster and everything and ready to go. So, we haven't recruited nobody yet. So, there's no recruiting yet. Red shirt right here. And that's about it. But uh, here is the death chart. Marcus Jackson, the senior, is going to be a starting quarterback. DJ Curtis is going to be backup. And then we have Mitchell Sullivan, third string QB. Halfback's going to be Will Goss, impact player, the speedster. Played a little bit of practice with this man, and he is bad fast. He's a bad fast receiver. So if we ever need a receiver, I'm going to move Goss to wide out. And we got AK-47, Alex Kennedy, backing him up. We'll also get some snaps. Adam Paul may not get a lot of snaps, but we're going to try to get him in the fold as him and AK are pretty almost similar. Uh, Paul is already a junior redshirt. Some of the guys got that we made a freshman got put the redshirt freshman. So everybody still has four years, but... If I were to put a thing on AK, he would be there for five, wouldn't play one. Fullback, we have Antoine Duke. Then we have Alex Kennedy playing backup fullback. And then we have Sam Jones, third string fullback. Wide receiver, we got Joe Murph in the Smurf. Dilly Schwallenberg. Rick Johnson. Dave Ross, the big boss. And then we got Anton Green and A.J. Jeffries playing uh, fifth and sixth string wide receiver. Tight end, as you can see, Rashad Bullet. But look who's second in that list, A.K. 47. Going to be playing a little bit of tight end when Bullet gets a little wore out. Bullet, a little bit faster, but he's not good in the blocking and shit like that. So A.K. AK is a versatile player on this team. Then we have our left tackle, Ned Jackson. And then we got Derek Hamill, the tight end, actually going to play some backup left tackle because Hamill has some good blocking stats. As my friend got the ROD. Um, our left guard is my man, Blake Warren, 5'8", 280. Going to be holding that line for us. Big man, Blakey. And then we got our center, Salem Sea Salt. The big man coming through here, 6'3", 295. But we got the biggest man on the team, Corey Williams, 400-pound right guard out of Asheville, NC. So that's a homegrown player. And then we got the right tackle, Jed Jackson. Ned and Jed brothers. Overalls aren't hot for them, but Derek Campbell might slip in and play some uh, offensive line if we need him. Then we got the big boys, Scott Roush, and then we got John Garns going to be playing some end. And then we have right end, we got J.R. Roush. So we got the Roush brothers. Or the Yeah, the Roush brothers coming through the line. Scott got red shirted, and J.R. has not. So both of these guys are going to be coming through the line. Played with these guys a little bit. J.R. Roush is a beast. He's fast. He can get through that line super quick. Scott, on the other hand, has got some fumbles on his resume in practice. Our DT, Al Agassi, the big man. And then we have Roberto Ramirez. Then we got Mike Johnson, Richard Brooks. And then we got Chad Wicks playing that position. Then we got Galvin Rogers at left outside linebacker. Then we got... Uh, Chad Wicks, and then we got Quentin Sandman Sands playing third string left outside linebacker. Middle linebacker and the impact player of the defense, Robbie Jackson. Got some speed on him, and he is a huge hitter. 
When we play UMass, that might be a game where Robbie goes to freak mode and just lays some dudes out. Right outside linebacker before we go to cornerback. Arm and hammer. Also, a guy can get through that line super quick. 90 speed. Dude's coming. And then we got Chad Wicks right behind him. Actually, Chad can play left outside, but we're going to put Arm and Hammer in there to play right now. Cornerback, Luis Hernandez is the starter. Then it's Walt White, and then it's Eric Rodriguez. And then Ziggy Zagoon is a senior who's going to get some play time. More than likely, he'll play a little bit more than Eric on other plays. Eric's going to be more of our guy for like when there's five wide receivers. And then Chad Wicks. Sitting there for strength. Free safety. Christian Cross, 76 overall free safety. Eric Rodriguez could play some free safety if he wanted to. Strong safety. Man, bird, man. 78 overall. So Eric can play free safety if we need him. Or strong safety if we need him to. Or pun or kicker. Hercules Hire. Going to punt. And then we got our punter, Mike Hunt. Going for the punts if you know what i mean kick returner is going to be alex kennedy mr a k actually kick returner is going to be louise we'll put louise at kick returner 95 speed yeah yeah so we'll flip flop that rope well, and punt returner will more than likely be either will goss or louise hernandez so that is it, guys. That is everything. Coach Skilltree, C-Dub's a 20 level. All that went to recruiting. None of that went to gameplay stuff. Bubba Taylor, our defensive coordinator, a level one. And our offensive coordinator, Jeremy Hodge, there. Uh, Coach XP, you can see there's our XP. 58 touchdown passes. Jesus. Coach contracts right now, we're D minus. We got a 98 job security. And we got a target of five wins. Uh, you can see some guys already in the hot seat right now. Coach philosophy, coach info, all that shit. Uh, coach skill tutorial. And then that's basically it. So thanks for watching, guys. This video will be up shortly. And then I will get the first game out. You guys put who you want to see us play in the description down or in the comments down below. And we'll see if we can add them and see if we can get some of those guys on the on the schedule. Also, if you want to be a recruit, leave your comment down below so you can have your so we can go after your other players to bring those guys to the Bob Cats. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you have a great rest of the day and peace.